Here we go. Welcome to 1.5. Can you imagine this is the third time that I have done this? The first time, my iPad did not have enough room <clears throat> on it, and so it uh, stopped halfway through the video, and I did not realize that, so I kept on flying along, and you guys were left behind in the dust, <laughs> not even with me. And then uh, the second time, I did a perfect video, and I was transferring it over, and somehow it did not transfer onto my computer well. I deleted it from my iPad before I transferred it, so what a mess. So here we are, third time. You guys with me? You to say yes? <laughs> So 1.5, we are describing angle pair relationships. Our essential question is how special angle relationships, that's our focus, special angle relationships, to find angle measures. So we can angle relationships as a key, as a tool to be able to find angle measures. So you already have that written down there in your notes, you know how this works. These special angle relationships, well, uh, some of them most of them probably you're already familiar with. Uh, two angles are complementary. I'm sure you've heard of them. Of their measures is 90 degrees. If there's some of their measures is 90 degrees, let me just keep on using your uh, notes here. <clears throat> it's easier for you to do that. And notice you're probably familiar with, uh, okay, you before this is a right angle. That's what that symbol down there means. And if you were to just draw a ray somewhere inside of that 90 degrees, then these two angles here would be complementary. The sum of these two angles is not, but that's when they are adjacent. Adjacent is a new word for us. Uh, it's as a technical term in uh, geometry. You put there, uh, 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 the word adjacent means beside each other. So two students are adjacent to each other when they're sitting beside each other. Uh, and then adjacent angles that share a common vertex. What's the vertex? Remember the vertex is this uh, point here on an angle. And so uh, angles one and two, they share vertex. They also share a common side. So remember that angles are made up by two rays that are sides and then a vertex. So these two angles, angles one and two are adjacent. They are complementary because they add up to add up to 90 degrees. But you can also have non-adjacent complementary angles, meaning that they don't share the same vertex. They do add up to uh, 90 degrees. So these two angles, they're telling us at least, are complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. There's also, which I'm sure you're familiar with, and two angles are supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees. So this is a how you are accustomed to seeing it. You have a line and then a ray drawn. Here's the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. It's like a straight angle. And therefore those are supplementary. But you can also have non-adjacent uh, angles that are supplementary. So they're telling us that these two angles, uh, 180 degrees. So therefore they are non-adjacent supplementary angles. Let's look at example one. In your book, they want us to name the pair or a pair of complementary angles. So let's see, complementary. Are these two guys complementary? Do they add up to 90? No way. This dude's 122. So he's already gone beyond. Hmm, how about these two angles? Are these, uh, no, that's not gonna work. Hey, but these ones do. The 32 and 58, add those together, you get 90 degrees. So even though these angles are not adjacent, they complementary. They add up to 90 degrees. Okay, before I forget, sometimes it's uh, uh, hard to remember. Okay, what is uh, is complementary 90 or 180? Uh, the way I that uh, C you can do this little summary here. Uh, C comes before S uh, alphabetically, and just as 90 comes before uh, 180 numeric. Or one student taught me this. Uh, the C is worth 90. And now think of an S as two C's. Here's a C up on the top, and you can kind of break another uh, C on the bottom, going backwards. So two C's, each C is worth 90. Uh, so 90 plus 90 equals 180. Whatever you need to do to, to remember that comp is always 90, and supplementary <clears throat> is always 180. So we have found our two angles here that add up to 90, that's complementary. Let's also find a pair of uh, supplementary angles, these to 180. 
but uh, these two do. So 122 plus 58 is 180. I can kind of see that. If I was to put these together and make them adjacent, uh, they would make a linear pair uh, and a straight angle add up to 180 degrees. They also want us to find a pair of adjacent angles and so these two top and bottom are adjacent angles. They share the same, hey what's that point there called again? That's right, so they share the same vertex and also a common side. So you are ready now for the problems number one and also two in your notes. Go ahead and pause the video and do those two problems. Let's look now at example number two. Uh, given that angle one is a complement, what is a complement? Hey, we're familiar with complementary, complementary, but now they're saying a complement. Let's read it in context though. Uh, angle one is a complement of two. Ah, I got it now. So what they're saying is <clears throat> that angle one and two are complementary, means they add up to 90 degrees. And so one of the angles is a complement of the other angle. So if we are given that uh, complementary, and what does this M refer to? A lowercase italics M? It means <clears throat> the measure of angle one. If the measure of angle one equals degrees, then they're asking us to find the measure of angle two. Well, the sum of them is 90. So I'd say 90 uh, minus 68, and that would give me 22. And it's, remember, this is geometry. So it's always important, Graham, so that's what I should have done, is knowing they're complementary, uh, draw 90 degrees, and then just throw down a, a ray there, it doesn't matter exactly where it is, and then label one of these angles as 68 degrees. And so now what is the other one? So what we're doing is the entire <clears throat> uh, angle here, degrees, and then take away 68, and what we're left with is uh, angle two. Uh, second part of this, angle three is a supplement of angle four, and if they tell us that the measure of angle four is 56, so supplement <clears throat> means they're supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees, so I can draw a straight line and then throw down a ray, and the smaller acute angle here is gonna be 56, then what is this obtuse angle? So the 180, and then you take away 56, and you are left with 124 degrees. Example number three, this uh, football player, <clears throat> right? it's not soccer, it's football, you're using your foot. This is football, and uh, he has this backstop that is a, an acute angle, I'm not sure why he would do that because once it hits this thing, it's going to be the same as as the uh, incident uh, angle. It's going to fly up into the air like that. But anyway, I'd rather have a right angle backstop or even obtuse angle backstop so it throws the ball back down uh, towards me. But this guy is, and they're asking us to find the measure of these angles. Well, we assume the, the ground is flat, so this is a stra straight angle. 180 degrees, so you would add, the sum of these two angles is gonna have to be 180 degrees. So we take these two expressions, uh, set them equal to each other. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. We would do that if it was a right angle, right? Because 90 degrees, set them equal to each other, that's fine. But in this case, they are not, and so therefore we have to add them uh, together and uh, set that equal to 180 degrees and the rest of that is just regular uh, plain old algebra and again if you're still struggling with this you got to go back into Khan Academy you have to know this kind of basic algebra in order to do uh, geometry we're going to review this over and over so now I have x equals 34 and I'm uh, tempted to put that in as my answer but slow down go back to the question read the question and it's asking us angle B C E Remember the C, whatever the center letter is, the middle letter, that's your vertex, B, C, E. So in order to find the measure of that angle, I have to take this 34 for X and, uh, to that expression. And when I do, I get 144. I can do the same thing for this other angle and I uh, get 36. And when I add these two angles together, remember these are supplementary angles. They are a supplement of each other. And uh, that bell is my bell, not your bell. 
Um, then uh, you add these two together, you should get, uh, what is it, 180? So 4 plus 6 is 10, carry the 1. Yep, that's uh, one half works. And now it's time for you to work. So pause the video and do uh, exercises 3, 4, and 5. Uh, they're on your notes. Now that you have done that, let's look at our last two uh, special angle relations or relationships. A linear pair is one of them. In fact, let's just use your notes. Pair is uh, uh, one of them. Uh, linear, when you see the word linear, you think of line. So a linear pair, when they're put together, they are adjacent angles. Uh, formed by opposite rays. They have a pair. They oh. share the same vertex, point in different directions, and also they share a common side. And the sum of these uh, two angles, these linear pairs, or a linear pair, yeah, is 180 degrees. Always be the case. Uh, therefore, that little symbol there means therefore, uh, they are supplementary. So linear pairs, or a linear pair, uh, will always be supplementary. Okay, I think. Now two angles are vertical angles uh, if their sides form two pairs of opposite rays. So in your linear pair you only have one pair of opposite rays. In your vertical angles pairs of opposite rays. The way that I like to think about this is think of it as uh, two different lines crossing each other and they create vertical angles. So these angles opposite of each other formed by two intersecting lines are a vertical pair and then there's another vertical pair uh, over here and what's neat about vertical angles is that they will always be congruent with each other so if I was to say that this angle here was 130 degrees I don't know what it is but I'm just guessing if that was 130 degrees then what do you think the measure of angle 5 is going to be and I'll give you a hint it's going to be that. Hey, now we also know linear pair, right? So these two angles uh, create a line. All linear pair angles are also supplementary. And so what is the measure of this angle? I'll give you a small hint. It's that. And hey, these two angles are, what's the relationship between these? They are vertical angles. Two angles opposite of each other formed by two intersecting lines. And so opposite angles, no, uh, vertical angles, vertical angles are always congruent with each other. So what's the measure? That's right, 50 degrees. And notice here that we have a, a pair of supplementary angles, they're a linear pair, and they add up to 180. Same thing with over here. These guys add up to 180. See that? So if I know with a measure of one and that are formed by the intersection of two lines, then I know all the other. Uh, the remaining three uh, angles. Let's look at example four in your book. And we're almost, this is a quick section. <clears throat> and they're asking us to identify all the linear pairs. So here is a line. And before we do that, flip over on page 38 of your book. <clears throat> when you're interpreting a diagram, you can conclude that all the points here are coplanar. Remember, coplanar means on the same plane. Also, points A, B, and C. A, B, and C. If it, then you can assume that it is a line. So, points A, B, and C are collinear. Remember, collinear. Co means um, what did it mean? It means like alongside of each other or with. The word mutual. That's what one I was looking for. Uh, these are on the same line. Um, so if it looks like a line, then it is a line. And we can also say that all of these uh, rays all at point B. That's pretty obvious. And we can also say that these are adjacent angles to each other. And that uh, point E lies interior uh, to uh, this angle DB. So those are things you can assume. But things you cannot assume is that this is a right angle. I agree, it looks like a right angle, but we cannot assume we're told that. So we would have to have uh, the indication of this, this uh, uh, right angle marker, or be able to prove otherwise that this is a right angle in order to say that it is. So uh, cannot prove and say for sure and presume 
that these two angles are congruent to each other. They look like they are congruent to each other, but you cannot presume that. You would have to, markings uh, for it, see how there's one arc on both of these angles. Uh, therefore, that tells us that these are congruent. But in this case, you don't have the markings, therefore you cannot assume that. Also, these two segments, they look like they're congruent, but we don't know that for sure. Or even like these two guys, they look like they're the same length, but you'd have to have markings on it or be able to prove that it is before you can say that it is. So be very careful. Don't assume. With presumption comes nothing but strife. So make sure that you can defend information on the diagram proves that uh, your conclusion. So we want, we want to identify all linear pairs. So this is a line. So angles one and four are a linear. Another line that cuts across here. So angles four and five are a linear pair. Hey, how about angles one, two, and three? Are those a linear pair? Well, I do agree they add up to 180 degrees, but they're not a pair, right? They're it's more like a triple. You would say linear triple, but we don't use that terminology in geometry. We just say a linear pair. Okay? They also want us to find vertical angles. So, taking me a little. Uh, angles one and five here are vertical angles. See how there's two lines that cross and create those uh, opposite angles. Hey, how about angle three and four? Aren't those? And the answer is no, because yes, there's one line here. These, this is a pair of opposite rays. But you can see obviously this angle array and this other array are not opposite rays. They're not a line. So therefore, angle three and four are not uh, vertical angles. And that is it. Angle five, they want us to find this measure. This is a piece here, um, pair, add up to 180, 5x plus x equals 180. Boom, we're done. Okay, so do questions number six and seven. And we'll see you soon. Hope that was helpful to you.